Welcome to Stecker Studios. In this episode, we carve our pinch pot pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. Here's our pinch pot pumpkin from last session. We've allowed it to dry to leather hard, and now it's time to draw the face on our jack-o'-lantern. We're gonna use a stylus tool to start drawing the shapes and outline of the eyes, mouth, and nose. I've chosen to do a traditional jack-o'-lantern with triangle eyes, nose, and kind of a goofy grin. Feel free to experiment and try out different designs, see what you like. Now we're going to use a cleanup tool to cut out our design. To cut it out cleanly, start off just by cutting lightly, going in one direction. Try not to saw back and forth or stab too deeply. Otherwise, you may have sloppy cuts and it'll take extra time to clean those up. And you can also damage your work. So be patient with it. Start off light and gently work your way deeper into the clay, tracing your design as you go. This video is sped up quite a bit in order to keep it short. So don't be fooled and think that I'm going quickly as I'm making these cuts. Really take your time, it'll make a big difference in the end and you'll be much happier with the result. So be patient, cut slow, and really take care in your work. And now the mouth is a little bit more of a complex shape. So it's a good idea to break it into simpler shapes and cut those out so that you can cut cleanly without damaging parts that may stick out or parts that may be hard to cut around. The best time to carve your clay is when it's at leather hard. With this pumpkin, the outside of the clay felt like it was leather hard, but on the inside it was still a little bit soft. So some of the edges are not cutting quite as clean and it may take a little extra work to carve out the pieces and clean them up in the end. When you're done cutting and carving, you can use your cleanup tool to go back over the areas that you just worked in order to clean up burrs and smooth out all of your edges. Now I'm going to carefully cut open the top of the pumpkin by slowly tracing around and turning the pumpkin slowly cutting into it little by little until I make my way through. Again, take your time and be patient cutting. You don't want to squish your pumpkin. And if you really take your time, your cuts will come out much neater and you'll be much more pleased with your work. And now we'll just clean up our lid and our opening a little bit. Lastly, I'm going to go over my work and smooth everything out with a sponge to clean up any of the crumbs that were left over and any of the rough edges from cutting and trimming. A little extra patience and a little extra work makes our pumpkin turn out nice and smooth and clean. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing.